Welcome to Money Manager. We will now start taking decisions. We are in round 1 of the game where we need to take decisions pertaining to the distribution of sales, discounts offered on sales and total number of units procured from vendor. On the distribution of sales, let's keep the cash sales to be at 70% of the overall sales. One period credit at 25% and the remaining 5% being the two period credit. Now moving to the discounts being offered, let us offer 3% discount for cash sales and 1% for one period credit sales. We also decide to increase the number of items ordered to 2000. Having taken the decisions for round 1, let us save the data and execute to see the results by clicking on go to next round button. We are in the third position. Now let's go to the graphs and compare with your competition and the various parameters. Click on the graphs tab. Select the competitor, select the parameter. You can compare with your competition and the various parameters. Now let's look at getting into the next round before which we need to repeat the process of understanding market information. Now you can see the macroeconomic picture has changed with the growth in GDP in the current year and also the projected period which is a good news as it can turn to the growth in demand in the market. Supplementing to this, we see a decline in inflation index for the current and the projected period. Another important news is there is an increase in the wage index for the current period and for the projected period. On the right side of the screen, we see the range of discounts distribution of sales focus and vendor payments in the market which has not significantly changed being the end of the round one. Now let's visit the profit and loss statement which though shows growth in sales and also increase in market share in terms of unit sales. We are sorry to know that there is a decline in the market share in terms of revenue and the most significant among them to note is the huge inventory that lies. You also need to note there is a dip in the profit due to heavy interest cost incurred due to the overdrafts that comes at 20% rate of interest. Now taking cognizance of the situation, let's move on to take decisions for this round. Here we decide to retain the same distribution percentage on sales and discounts but reduce the number of items ordered to 1500. due to the existing inventory. You will note in this round, you will see additional decision parameters pertaining to vendor payments. Let us keep the instant payment percentage to be at 5% of the procurement. One period credit percentage at 20%. 2 period credit percentage at 30% and the balance of 45% for a 3 period credit percentage. Having taken the decision for this round, make sure you save the decisions and execute to see the impact of your decisions by selecting go to next round tab. We will see the impact of the decisions taken in our next video. Thank you.